All right, y'all, so I'm at Angry Joe's. Now, I looked on their Instagram here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but essentially at 4 p.m., which is now, and they have like this grand opening thing, right? And the first 100 people got my ticket number 75. They have a chance of winning a free chicken sandwich for a year. In my core, in my, at my heart, I'm really a fat kid. I'm a fat kid. You know, it is what it is, right? This is probably gonna be like a food vlog because there's another segment about food. So enjoy this whole food vlog, but look at the line. There's a whole, whole big line. It wraps around the corner and everything. First takeout order. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm amongst the good people who like to eat food. This is this is where I like. Nonetheless, yeah, if I win, don't win, etc., etc. But I'm looking to win. I'm a winner, right? First off. But I'm also looking to just try out a chicken sandwich. See if it's a 10 out of 10. I find myself to be a chicken sandwich connoisseur as well as chicken and waffles connoisseur. He came here at exactly four. It's 4.22 right now. First order just went out as y'all see. And we're gonna see how good this really is. They did a little interview or whatever, you know. They just recognized a handsome young man like myself and they said, hey, yo, we want to do an interview with you. You know, you give us your thoughts on the chicken sandwiches, et cetera, et cetera. You know, a potential date with them. And I said, ah, oh, let's keep it professional. I'm just here for the chicken sandwiches. So I declined them on the date, but you know, it just is what it is. I'm here, I'm a professional when it comes to this food review stuff. So I deny women so that way I can, you know, accomplish what I got to accomplish over here and then give y'all the best food review y'all could, you know, obtain on YouTube, on the platform. All right, y'all, so we made it all the way inside. About to order my food. Honestly, we started at 4 p.m. It's now 5.19. So we waited about an hour and 19 minutes, almost an hour and a half. Hey man, gotta do what you gotta do to win, bro. All right, y'all, so we just came from Hangry Joe's. We came there at four exact, and now it is 5.48. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is what it is, right? So y'all can see, I got fries. We are gonna try the fries out first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But get a close up of this. Nice seasoning. Mm, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a little fried hard for my liking, but the seasoning's there. So I'm gonna give the fries a solid six out of 10. It's a solid six out of 10, 5.5, six out of 10. Now let's see what the macaroni's talking about. Usually at places I never order macaroni simply because macaronis in places are usually trash. I'm gonna be completely honest. Just off first look, looks like crafts. You know, it's supposed to stick together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Kraft's mac and cheese. A, 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 a two. I'll give it a two. I want to give it a one, but it's bearable. You know what I'm saying? But it's on some crafts vibes. Get crafts, boil it up, put some put some cheese on it, and then call it a day. All right, now the part that everybody's been waiting for: huge, huge chicken, huge chicken sandwich. Y'all can see this. Honestly, bigger than Popeyes, and Popeyes is a big chicken sandwich, so that's crazy in and of itself. Hold on, hold on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And keep it real with y'all. All right. Remember, I'm Keith Lee's cousin. So for me to disrespect the family like that would be a travesty. Right. This chicken sandwich right here. It has its own taste. Separate from Popeye, separate from Chick-fil-A, separate from KFC. The chicken here, this is some solid work. And especially for the amount too, this is some solid work. Look at this. Look at that. This is some solid work. This is some, uh. Mm. So brioche bun, pickles. And it looks like they got coleslaw. I know a lot of people don't like coleslaw, but it, it seems like they got the coleslaw works. It works for it, right? Then the chicken sandwich itself, I just got a regular, a standard, and I can't even lie, the flavor's there. The, it's not seasoned as hell, you know, but I feel like these are one of the, the chicken sandwiches that's gonna make you not feel bad for eating it afterwards. Amazing work. I give the chicken sandwich a solid 8.5 out of 10. A solid 8.5 out of 10. I can't, I can't give it no less. 
All right, so y'all might be wondering, Willis, why you out of fair? Honestly, I'm here for the food. I'll be completely honest. Now, there's no other reason for me to really be at the fair, especially this type of fair. I like, look behind you, like, it's really, it's really a kids type fair. There's only a few months that really the fair be out. So I feel like, you know, let me come here, get some funnel cake, you know, explore around, you know, and be in and out, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really just here for the funnel cake and then I'm gone. I really don't do the whole ride thing. It's not really my forte. Now, I know a lot of other people, they like to, you know, ride on the craziest rides. I've never been that type of guy. Every time I go to fairs, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna be completely honest, straight up. I will projectile vomit on whoever. I'll probably just go on the Ferris wheel, that's about it. That's the only thing that I see to be interesting. Other than that, I'm just here for the food, I'll be honest. I'm here for the food, and what? And what? Is there a problem? If there's a problem, step to me right now. I'm just here for the food, that's it. You got an issue, Let, well, let's do it. Okay then. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, like, we're here at a kid's fair, but if I'm being completely real, there's a lot of grown women out here, you know, women who are uh, 28 and above. I'm 23, but I like myself a mature woman. That's just my forte. Y'all, you see, like, I'm not, it's just not, it's not for me. I'm strong, charming, handsome. You guys know this about me already, but rides like this, my stomach just can't, it, it denies it. This is not, it's not my body, it's not for me. But I'm in the middle of a pickle, right? You guys see the big burgers over there. And you guys see the funnel cake over there. Now, I'm, I'm a, little, a little puzzled myself. I'm like, man, should I get fried Oreos or should I get a funnel cake? These are usually the problems I run into whenever I'm at the fair. I look around, you know, a lot of kids are enjoying themselves. I'm just here for the food. Five Oreos, six per, or six pieces, $7. You see the last one at Big Burgers? It was $8. You see, they priced themselves out. Y'all gotta be geniuses. Y'all really gotta be smart and be businessmen with the way y'all move. How you doing, sir? Can I get me fried Oreos? Hey, uh, can you do like extra chocolate drizzle? Uh-huh. Oh, you got no chocolate syrup? No chocolate syrup? All right, that's cool. Just extra powder on that. Okay, for the $7, we're losing out on the chocolate syrup. But that's fine, you see, me being a businessman once again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what he gives me and I'm gonna go over there, ask him to put chocolate syrup on there, and they gonna do it. Why? Because I'm a demand for that shit. And if they don't, I'm gonna grab him by his collar, yank him out of the big burger spot, start decking him, boom, boom, boom. His nose gonna be bleeding, start running, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna kick him in his shit. That was way too much ego, my bad. That was way too much ego. You guys do Apple Pay? Look at this. There's no chocolate drizzle on this. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Hey, bro. This is how you be creative, man. Ain't nothing like some fried Oreos at a fair. I'm telling y'all, y'all can make it at home. It ain't nothing like the fair, though. I don't even like the fair. I hate the fair. But for some fried Oreos, though, I'm going to be in and out. Hey bro, we on a Ferris wheel. This is the only ride that I'm gonna go on though. This is the only ride to me that's acceptable. Cause to me, it feels the safest. It's a little rusty, okay? It's a little rusty. Hey bro, I kind of feel like Childish Gambino. You know what I'm saying? The 2005, like hold up. To me, all the fair stuff, going on rides, throwing up, it's just not for me. I came here for the food, and now I'm gonna leave here with some food. I'm a man with a plan and a vision. Look at that, look at that. That's a beautiful scope right there. But yeah, I'm a man with a plan and a vision. I do my thing, in and out, in and out.